Hello traders, this is Rich Derek from TradeSite. This is a, this is a look at the afternoon scans for, for our ETFs. This is going to be for the coming session. It's going to be for Tuesday, April 16th, 2013. Got a very negative session going here uh, so far. We've got uh, CPS signals to the downside here in most, most of our uh, major index following ETFs. We've got downside CPS signals in the uh, spiders, the Qs small caps in the mids. The only one that's absent is the diamonds. Got uh, pretty acute moves. Uh, small caps are really taking the taking the worst of it here. They're down not quite three and a half percent off of the open and almost one and a half percent below the VWAP. So very negative uh, price action and it is being supported by by volume picking up to the upside here. Got a volume bump pretty much across the board here. Let's move on and take a look at the individual sectors. The individual domestic sectors uh, look about the same as the uh, the broad market. CPS signals for the most part here across the board. We've got uh, volume bumps and a lot of different things. The TAN is uh, actually getting it the worst here out of all, all the majors. It's highly volatile anyway, but it's 5% below the open almost 2% below the uh, today's VWAP, so a lot of weakness. The uh, commodities are especially weak. Look at the OIH here, 3.5% below the open with the downside CPS signal, more than two times the typical volume. Moving on to the uh, commodities, they're really kind of the chief culprit of, the, uh, of this whole onslaught to the downside, mostly CPS downside signals. You can see the GDX. 4% below the open, 2% below the VWAP, three times the typical volume. Look at the GLD here. We have to talk about this today. Downside CPS sell signal, though it is very extended. Climactic volume, trading more than seven times what it typically trades. So this is a very, very uh, important day here. This is going to be seen on the charts for a very, very long time. This is a question of how much follow-through can it have. A little bit of flight to quality in the bonds. The TLTs are higher than the day by about a dollar. It's one of the safe havens. Good volume there, but they have pulled it off the high a little bit. As far as, far as, as, far as the foreign stuff goes, mostly CPS uh, signals to the downside. We don't have the volume bumps that we uh, saw in the domestic stuff, but everything is uh, set up fairly negatively. Now for the specials, the specials are showing the same thing with the rest of the tape. And look at these moves. Some of these moves are stunning. Look at the UWM, 6.5% below the open. FAS, 5% below the open. All of these things are, or almost all of them are, are trading on volume. The shorts are uh, biased to the upside, so this is a very negative session here uh, with the implication of downside follow-through. Not really, sh I don't... I don't look at the internals right now. The VIC cash fix is up four and a half dollars, and the trend is up a buck forty-five. The trend is not high enough right now to get to get that to get that gap gap up tomorrow and have a relief gap. Up. So uh, we have an absence of that, so we definitely could be in store for uh, for some more weakness tomorrow. That's it for this evening. Uh, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.